Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you are all familiar with US President Lyndon B. Johnson's take on lectures about economic policy. He commented that giving a speech about economics is like pissing down your own leg. It seems hot to you, but not to anyone else. Fortunately, at the Conference on Artificial Intelligence, it's a different matter. It's hot to everyone. And that, despite the fact that no one rightly knows what is meant by artificial intelligence. My favorite definition is still that artificial intelligence is the art of making computers that behave like the ones in movies. But one thing is clear. Artificial intelligence is not only an extremely important area of research. It's something that will affect us all. But just how far are we on the path from deep learning to artificial general intelligence? How many professions will disappear? And what applications are yet to emerge? Which machines should we build? Which ones should we tax? And which ones should we ban? In short, how do we regulate technologies that we don't entirely understand? Since the Industrial Revolution, we have continually muddled our way through. But it is becoming increasingly critical that we manage to regulate these technologies smartly right from the outset. So, why is it so difficult to regulate well? Firstly, because we are trying to avoid two risks at the same time. The risk of missing an opportunity by banning something too early, and the risk of doing damage by banning something too late. Secondly, regulation is difficult when a lot of money is at stake. You know, the old truth that is not easy to explain something to someone if that person's salary depends on not understanding it. In the case of artificial intelligence, there's a great deal of money involved and AI is in the hands of a relatively small number of parties. And as you know, whoever writes the code sets a lot of the rules. Thirdly, regulation gets really difficult when the playing field is international. So far, willingness to engage in multilateral cooperation has been largely dependent on short-term gain. And finally, fourthly, regulation is so difficult because politics isn't mass. Generally, there are derogations to every law and derogations to the derogations to the derogations, and often for good reason. Ladies and gentlemen, we tend to deal frantically with little things and be fatalistic about the big things. We do the straightforward jobs meticulously and see the fundamental transformation to a digital world as an act of God. Unstoppable, impossible to direct and difficult to rein in. In most cases, this is just an excuse. Stephen Hawking once remarked in his own unique way that he had noticed that even people who think everything is preordained still look left and right before crossing the road. Not everything is set in stone. On the contrary, it depends on us, perhaps not only on us, but we certainly play a part. So on that note, I wish you courage, vision, and a good deal of natural intelligence at this conference. Thank you.